uh, and continue to track Idala as it's barreling towards Florida. Just 11 months after the state was devastated by Hurricane Ian, Naples, Florida, was one of the city's hardest hit by that storm, and it suffered major flooding. Uh, that was the firehouse. There were times the firehouses had uh, water up to the engines. Uh, in there, joining us now, the mayor of Naples, Teresa Heitman. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. Boy, my, my parents lost a house on Fort Myers Beach. Um, girlfriend's parents' house was flooded in Naples, so I know exactly um, what memories this brings back um, for you and for so many. Let's look forward here. What is your advice for the mayors of Panacea, uh, for Gulf Breeze, Alligator Point, St. Teresa, all these towns, Cedar Key, that are about to go through what you all went through a year ago? Uh, to make sure you have very good communication. Um, you know, we sent out a lot of the updates last year, but um, texting, uh, people were receiving texting and phone calls, so that's really important. Uh, emails, because uh, as many as you can get out prior to electricity going down, um, people should be prepared by now. They know it. If they're staying, they're staying. And if not, do not try and go out in the middle of a storm. The flooding is dangerous, and uh, we know very well how many cars we lost with people trying to leave at the last minute. So um, they're prepared. They need to stay put. You know, what we learned from Hurricane Ian was sort of the concept of the perfect storm, of the storm surge on the dirty side of the storm pushing up into areas where the water couldn't go anywhere. Very different than a storm uh, just sort of coming ashore uh, dead onto the shore as it goes up and pushes the water in as it did uh, Fort Myers Beach, I think about Bonita, uh, Bonita Springs, Bonita Beach, and also uh, in Naples. Uh, North, North Florida, the Big Bend, has not seen a storm like this with this kind of storm surge that's going to push push up into it. Do you think people really understand? Did you understand um, what what the power of 10 to 15 feet of storm surge could do? Well, I've lived in Florida all of my life, and I have seen uh, many hurricanes, but I had no idea uh, the destruction that water can actually do. Uh, you can see behind me on our emblem, the uh, pier was destroyed. Uh, and when the water came, it came fast and furious. And it's devastating. Um, it, it's not uh, something that you can be prepared for because when it comes rushing at you, uh, you just need to make sure you're in safe ground. Uh, it's concern last year. Uh, we didn't even think we were in the comb. Um, so this time, you know, you, we weren't in the cone, but it does create anxiety because you want to be prepared. Um, uh, hurricanes are unpredictable. So uh, we were ready uh, just in case something happened like last year where it was headed up uh, to Tampa and it actually hit uh, Fort Myers and we got the dirty end of the storm. Yeah, I remember, I think we, you and I talked. You were in the firehouse at, uh, at one point as the, water, as the water was rising up. It was some scary moments. I, I, it happens every time. I've covered a lot of hurricanes in Florida. I used to live there. Uh, I think about the, the person Stephanie interviewed. There's a lot of them um, who say, I'm not leaving. I've, I've been riding out X number of, you know, dozens of storms. Who, who cares? I'm going to stay. And I think about all of the people, and you and I talked about it last year, who were calling 911 in the middle of the storm as the water was rising, uh, that couldn't be saved last year. Uh, and you just, I, you just hope that, that folks we interview now um, aren't among them. I agree. And the biggest concern now is that they, after the storm, not to walk in those flood waters um, because it's dangerous. And also the fact that um, there could be down lines, uh, there could be sludge or sewage um, from backups in the streets. So, you know, people want to go out and see and assess what's happened, but it's most important that we let the first responders get out, assess the situation before they ever go back out onto the streets after the hurricane. That was a big lesson. Yeah, the Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.